Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a, a part two to my original flashbang holster video. If you guys saw that one, you'll know that I originally bought the flashbang for my Glock 43. I don't know if I mentioned it in that other video or not, but I'm a size A cup and the struggle is real. Uh, the flashbang does not work on me as easily as it might work on someone with a larger chest and I'm really uh, having a harder time trying to figure this thing out and make it work. But I wanted to make a video for all of you smaller chested girls out there who might be interested in the flashbang. I'll show you a bunch of different bras, uh, different bra types and styles. Uh, show you what I think works and what I know definitely does not work, at least for me. All right, so let me just uh, go ahead and get started with the flashbang that I ended up getting. I bought one for my SIG P238, which is a much smaller gun than the Glock 43. So I thought, you know, smaller chest, smaller gun should work. So I'm going to go ahead and um, show you the flashbang, show you the bras, get into all the uncomfortable stuff for me. I'm really not looking forward to making this video. I'm kind of a modest person person in general. I don't like the idea of showing off my bras on the internet, but I'm going to do it because I've been watching a lot of other videos showing the flashbang and people are either showing the bra on a mannequin, not on a real person. And it definitely does not function the same way on a mannequin as it would a real life person, you know, when you're moving around and you're doing stuff. And, um, or it's being shown on women with much larger chests than mine. And that it just is not helpful to me because um, it just doesn't fit the same way on me. So I'm gonna go ahead and bite the bullet, haha. -ha. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some of my bras. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and, and do it. Screw it, whatever. Okay, here is my flashbang for the P238. I've spent this morning probably for two hours uh, working with this thing, readjusting it, moving it, putting the strap on, taking it off. Uh, so yeah, it's not something that for a lot of women, I don't think you can just pull it out of the box and put it on and it's going to work for you. I definitely think it takes some working with to uh, get it how you want it. And if you're changing bras, you're going to need to adjust the strap according to whatever bra you're wearing. Okay, this happens to be one of my favorite bras, or this style of bra. I really like the front clasp, and this is one that I definitely would not wear the flashbang with. The flashbang definitely needs more uh, structure going on across here to help keep it safe and secure. This is not enough for it, and I definitely think that I would wear this bra out super fast if I was practicing drawing the flashbang, which is something that you definitely should do a lot. Um, so yeah, I tried it with this bra, but it did not work and I would not recommend this. All right, here is another bra that it does not work with for me. It looks like it should because this piece is just right, really. Uh, but there is no underwire in this bra and there's no padding. So when you put the flashbang on and it goes up in here, it just pulls everything down. It just weighs the bra, uh, way down. And it makes your boobs look so incredibly saggy. It kind of does this. You definitely need some shape to a bra that you're going to wear this thing with. Uh, this did not look good at all. But again, this is a bra that I really like because it's super comfortable. I don't need an underwire because I'm so small. And um, this bra kind of feels like I'm wearing nothing. So this is one I would like to wear a lot. But I definitely can't wear this with the flashbang. Here's another one that's a no-go for me. I don't think this little lace piece in the middle gives it enough structure. Um, I'd be scared that this would rip or tear because it's just kind of fragile. So yeah, I'm gonna add that to the pile of bras I can't wear with a flashbang. All right, so this is a really pretty bra and it does have you know pretty good structure here in the middle, but this bra has wires in it, which is fine, but it also is pretty heavily padded. So it has these big thick pads down at the bottom and it helps push you up. I guess, yeah, this is a push up bra. So when you put a flashbang on with a bra like this, and I did have this on this morning trying it out, um, because of the thick padding down here at the bottom, the flashbang pushes this way far away from your chest, um, making a pretty big gap between the top of the bra and your chest. And you can definitely see that 
in your shirt. It's really obvious that, you know, something is under your bra pushing it out. Um, so this one did not work well for me either. Even with the size of the SIG, it was still too much going on underneath this padding. So yeah, another bra won't work. So here's a sports bra that I tried it with yesterday and it felt okay. It was comfortable enough, but I think I had it on incorrectly. There's lots of ways to put this strap. You can carry it high, you can carry it low, you can switch the strap to where it's like up like this. Um, this little button can go on the underside or on top. There's just a lot of ways to um, put it on and it takes a while to figure out what you're doing. So anyway, I had this on last night and I think I had it on wrong. I'm just gonna throw this on like that real quickly just to show you what it looks like how it should look anyway but I had this on last night and I went to run down the stairs and as I came down the stairs the gun did this it just flipped completely out from underneath the bra and uh, yeah I'm not a fan of that I don't love that happening definitely if I was in public that would be awkward having to you know readjust that uh, but today I had it on and I put it on differently and I hope I can remember how I did it but I had it on differently and it seemed to work a lot better. The gun was um, more secure under there than it was last night. And um, I did some, you know, uh, running in place and it seemed to stay put, so that's good. I don't think I would do anything too rigorous though because it still might um, slide out. I don't know, but yeah, that is how it looks with the sports bra. All right, so I've decided I'm not gonna show you guys me actually putting the gun like up under my bra and getting it situated. While I was trying to get it on and adjusted and working just right for me, uh, you know, my bra is kind of moving all over the place and I just don't feel comfortable showing that kind of stuff. So anyway, I do have it on. It is a bit of a struggle to, you know, get the strap just right, the right size in the right hole. Um, if you want to carry this high or carry it low, I, I do feel like this conceals way better than the Glock 43 did. Um, you can see, if you look, if you're really paying attention, you can see where the little um, clip thing is right here. It sticks out a little bit. Um, makes my boobs look bigger, so that's cool. But yeah, I think, I think it definitely does conceal pretty well in the sports bra. Here it is, a little side view. Yeah, I would definitely say this is concealable. Um, maybe if I was wearing a super tight shirt, you might notice it, but my shirts don't get really tighter than this. This is pretty typical for me. And I think definitely if you have um, a pattern, buttons, ruffles, anything going on up here, you're not gonna notice it. Also, the last time I tried this with my Glock, the handle of it kind of shoved into this area, and that was really uncomfortable. I don't like anything pressing into here. The SIG sits at a different um, angle in a different place, and it definitely is a whole lot more comfortable. All right, so overall, wearing um, the flashbang with a smaller gun in the sports bra and wearing it correctly, I think it's pretty good. I could wear this. I would walk around you know, and run my errands or do my thing wearing this. I just would not wear this if I was doing anything sporty because it definitely would still flip out on me. So here's another bra I'm gonna try. This one has a pretty good uh, middle piece right here. It has underwire and it's fully padded. It doesn't have just the padding down at the bottom. So we're gonna see how that works. And I changed out the strap. So I took off the longer strap and I put on the shorter one. I'm thinking it will work like so, like that. I don't know how it works on, but I'm gonna try it on and I'll show you. Okay, so I've got it on and I definitely do think that the more time spent working with this, the easier and better it gets. I will say wearing it with a fully padded bra does make me look pretty darn good. So, all right, so I've got it on and here is how I'm carrying it. So it is completely tucked up underneath my bra here with the handle hanging down. And it takes quite a bit of work figuring out the strap, uh, if you want it up or down or which position you want it in. Uh, but I think I've got it and it's pretty comfortable. I'm not having any issues with comfort right now. It's not, you know, digging into my belly or um, it doesn't feel weird. Yeah, I feel like it conceals 
really well. I, I don't think a person would notice. I definitely think it adds quite a bit to uh, the size of my chest here because, you know, not only am I wearing a padded bra, but the, the whole thing is being pushed out from the gun being under it. So, um, yeah, if you're self-conscious about your chest size, you know, being, you know, big or anything like that, that might be something to think about because it definitely will push your bra out further and make you look bigger. I don't mind that because I definitely could use something in that department, but, but yeah, it conceals really well. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. Gosh, I'm so glad I figured this thing out. This definitely is a holster you want to practice a ton with, with drawing, because it is so different from drawing, you know, uh, you know, appendix on your back or from a, a regular holster. This is really different. You definitely have to uh, think about what you're doing here and get your shirt up and get your hand under there, you know, get a good grip on the gun, make sure your finger is not on the trigger. I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like to draw. And just so you know, in case you haven't already watched videos on this before, every time you draw it, it's going to pop out of your bra. You've got to be super, super careful with reholstering this. If you're going to reholster it while you're still wearing it, you start with the back end of the gun and the back end of the holster and just pop it into place. Make sure your gun is not pointed towards any person or anything that you do not want to shoot. Be super, super careful. Well, okay, I think I've changed my opinion on the flashbang from the first time I tried it. Although I did think the one that I had for the Glock was going to be too big for me. I do think having a smaller gun with a smaller chest does work much better. I've had this holster for months and I kept putting off really messing with it. Um, I would try it out here or there and I was getting really frustrated with it. Um, it wasn't working with the bras that I was trying it with. Uh, but this morning I was like, you know what, screw it. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to figure this out. I've got to own at least one bra that this will work with. And so by doing that, I figured out I actually have a few that it will work with. I have uh, this bra in particular in a couple colors. So it will work with all of those. And I think it will work with the sports bra. So yeah, I guess that is um, my main thoughts on it right now. My plan is to actually go outside. I have a backyard range and I plan on going outside and practice drawing with this outside and, uh, you know, drawing and shooting, that sort of thing. It's raining today though. If it stops raining today, I'll go out there and try to film that. If it continues raining, I might just make another video about that and post that at a separate time because I really do want to get this video up because I'm super excited right now. So anyway, I hope this was helpful to some of you. Um, I think the most confusing part to me for the, all of this was how to deal with the strap and which bra to use it with. So I really hope showing some of my sad, pathetic, ratty old bras has been helpful. Anyway, I have embarrassed myself enough for today. I'm going to go ahead and get off of here and I will see y'all soon. Bye.